So, do I need to build another rocket? I might. Because I'm fairly certain I just took off in my one rocket. Yep. <laughs> All right, cool. Don't hit the space bar while you're in the rocket. Uh, give me a minute. We will come right back once I build a new rocket. After doing a little bit of research, I found out I do need oxygen, which I knew I needed. I just didn't know how to acquire it. Um, <clears throat> and I just did it slightly incorrect. Um, so I'm just going to let this fill up with oxygen and then I also need to put my tanks and fill those with oxygen but I'm gonna do some quick speeding up of this uh, so once this gets full of oxygen I've also got a few tanks that I'm gonna fill up with oxygen I went ahead and built myself another rocket uh, that should be fueled up. There's no way to extract fuel from this, which is stupid. You have to use a bucket, which I do not like. All right, so that's saying... Okay, I see what you gotta do. Okay, so I've just gotta let this fill up. Uh, stack upgrade, speed upgrades. So hopefully that'll fill up with water a little bit faster. All right, so that's full. And then a few more oxygen tanks. Which can fill up with 500. And I'm going to put them in my backpack and hopefully that will do it. So I'm going to wait for this to fill up because this seems like it's going to take a while for it to fill up all of these with oxygen i'll be back gearing up for the rest of my stuff for my trip i have one two three four five six seven oxygen tanks i also have one that i put in the spaceship so like in here i also put a launch pad in here but i am going to bring a matter receiver um and probably just be able to teleport back and forth um if i can <clears throat> like if i don't have to keep using rockets that's kind of cheaty but if i don't have to keep using rockets i don't want to keep using rockets like that's it's just it's less resources to have to worry about um so the book says uh first rocket no okay preparing to launch uh, in order to return to Earth from the moon, you will need two basic things, a launch pad and three buckets of fuel. No, because I've got my charged porter. Uh, place these three items in the inventory of your rocket and ensure that you will always have them every time. Finally, you should bring multiple oxygen. Good. Uh, fuel. So fuel, full oxygen tanks, plenty of food. Got it. Soul torches or glowstone. I do have sparks, but I'm going to bring those. Uh... I thought I got some soul torches. Okay, soul torches I've got in my inventory. Um, glowstone weapons, tools, once you have this, you are ready for launch in tier and press space. Yeah, see. Wish I had known that. Uh, so dash ingots, which I know I need at some point. So we're, we're getting to a, a good spot to be able to do all of that. So I've got an oxygen loader. That might have come from a reward, but I ended up making one, which is my, my typical thing. But I'll take this with me, uh, so that way I can potentially get oxygen while on the moon. I don't think I can, because you need water. So let me let me try this. Let me let me let me cheat a little bit more. Let me make some ender tanks. Let me bring my ender pouch. Can I make two ender tanks? What else do I need? I need a cauldron. Let me make two ender tanks. Let me get some blue dye. I'm gonna color these 
blue and blue. I'm going to take one with me to the moon, and then one is just going to sit over here collecting water. And then I'll bring my oxygen thing. I've got flux point for power, hopefully, some universal cables. Uh, let me put away some stuff that I don't need because I'm not going to have inventory space up there. Let me just put my armor away. So this is to get me home, all of this stuff. This is water for the oxygen loader, hopefully. Uh, let me grab maybe a stack of buckets. <clears throat> Just in case I need to like transport stuff back and forth. I'm not going to need this or these or that. This I need to actually make sure is on my body because it also has oxygen in it. Um, I'm not gonna worry about fuel. That's good, I'll keep these. I'll keep a tank just in case. That's got my food in it. That has five and a half hours worth of extra time. I think we're good. So I'm gonna get back in here, and this time I know that I'm pressing space to go to space. So we're gonna go to the moon. We're probably gonna end up landing on top of the other rover that's already up there. Um, but that's, that is what it is. Um, all right, y'all seen this before, so I'll come back once we're on the moon. We are falling. I've got to like hold down space to slow down my descent. And did we land? We did. Okay. So those are my two rockets. So I'm going to put a launch pad down. Oh, I forgot. Got that the jump was insane. All right, so I'm gonna put one rocket down over here and I'm gonna keep one rocket in my inventory. One of these rockets has stuff in its inventory. Unless that stuff gets put, I think it gets put in my inventory. Okay, so then I'm gonna put one rocket down and put a rocket I can't, okay. So this this just has to stay with me. I'm gonna put a whole rocket in my backpack. Cause that makes sense. All right, we made it to the moon. What does the moon have to offer? Moonstone, that makes sense. Here's the sun, here's the earth. There's something over there. We'll check that out. I think there's like generated structures out here, obviously. I think there are like space villagers. I think there's aliens and mobs and all that kind of stuff. All right, there's a decent sized cave over there. It's like a space chest. Oh, it's like a space dungeon. Like a space, like, roguelike. Or something. Oh, there's a thing down here. Oh. Space villagers, they don't want to talk to me. <laughs> don't know why. This guy does. But I don't have any emeralds for you, I'm so sorry. Can you sleep on the moon? What happens if you sleep on the moon? I know if you sleep on other... Uh... Oh, you have space pants and space boots. Awesome. I know if you sleep in other dimensions like the nether, you die. So I do not want to risk sleeping on the moon. Alright, cool. I don't think this is really anything. Oh, 
I'm gonna. I don't have my. What should I call it? My um, jetpack. I can't use that out here. All right. Let's go check out this cave. We'll look at this for a little bit, and then I'll wrap up. And so there's a red dot over there. I think red dots are typically mobs. Uh, so we'll so we'll see what the moon has to offer, and I'll come back in the next episode having explored the moon and then we'll see if we can move on to other planets and like get to the end and stuff like that which is our main goal but while we're here i know that we need to look for desh ingots which i think nope that's moon cheese a hearty meal uses not much use it can be turned into nutritional paste or it can be used in the Gormand Dynamo. Cool, so for right now, it is just gonna go in the bag, which is gonna auto feed me, so that's fine. Uh, I went ahead and got a crafting uh, grid set up here. Uh, got my network card set up. I have my matter receiver here. So that way we just have stuff that we need on the base. There's an alien up there so uh, I've got a little waypoint to find my way home because I forgot to do that the last time but also like I said I went ahead and put a matter receiver down so I, I can really just teleport myself back here but what am I gonna teleport myself back to is the question uh, because I want to go ahead and just build like a small little lunar base right here uh, so my plan is to just kind of clear out this little bit of area and just kind of uh, I can build up an area I'm really just gonna make it out of smooth glass right now there's really no point in making it out of fancy materials to start with but then there's also this oxygen distributor which I can use to um, put oxygen into a building as long as it's completely sealed so that was your fault for trying to spawn on the moon and what i'm doing right now is i'm just going to clear out a little bit of this moon area here with my destruction gadget uh, because my plan right now is i am going to um oh i didn't mean to do that how do I? Okay. Um, because my plan is that I am going to build a small lunar base up here. Uh, I already have my uh, matter receiver, an oxygen loader, and a crafting grid with a network receiver that just has all of my stuff in it. Uh, so I can access it all up here. But I am going to build a small lunar base uh just so i can be out here and have somewhere to return home to while i'm on the moon we're not going to stay on the moon long uh because the plan is to start upgrading rockets super quick and get to the moon which we're on get to mars and get to the end and any other real like planets that there are up here uh, what was I going to look for? A building gadget. Do I already have that on me? I do. Okay. So building gadget. We're just going to do this. Uh, let's do horizontal wall mode. Or should I do vertical column? didn't really plan this through very much vertical wall okay but that's too big so how do I shrink that there's a way to shrink that building gadgets anchor is H 
rotate mirror settings, undo, fuzzy mode, connected area, open material list, range overlay is V. Will that work? Okay, there we go. All right. All right, so let's just do kind of that big of a wall. this to build to me can I do that and then just so the way that this works is that the textures don't always all right this is gonna be a minute so basically I'm just gonna build a quick base right here and we will be right back there we go it's super weird because it doesn't actually look like I'm standing inside of anything uh, if you like look up but if you look around here I promise you there's a, there's a roof and there's a floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the middle is gonna be right here. I don't know what kind of doors you need. Like if there's special space doors. Cause I know that it said something about needing vents and stuff like that. So sliding door here. So an iron sliding door, is that potentially what I need? Or a steel door? That potentially seems like something that I would need. So let me actually, I need a crafter. Uh, crafting grid, which that's what this is. So, uh, oh, so I should be able to just do this. And make myself some steel doors. See, from the outside, you can tell that there's a structure. From the inside... You have zero clue. Um, I need something to like open the door with. So maybe like a button. Or like an iron. Or is there like a steel pressure plate maybe? Steel paneling pressure plate. Netherite pressure plate. I could probably just do a regular pressure plate. Like, it probably doesn't have to be anything fancy. And I have this obsidian one. So if I put that there. Perfect. I just need one for the inside as well. Uh. I think obsidian pressure plate is just two obsidian. Obsidian pressure plate. We just do the cheapest one. We'll put that there, fill this back in. So now I should be able to just go in and out. I do need to move all of this inside probably, or at least closer, which means I am gonna need to reset my matter receiver and my, ooh, I am almost out of oxygen. Um, I'm gonna need to reset my matter receiver and my network receiver. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let me go ahead. I need to dig down one more. Not two more. Moon sand. All right. I need, I think I have some more oxygen in here, hopefully. <laughs> yes. I don't know exactly how that works. Can I just, like, eat these? Okay. There we go. Um, where is my flux point? It's right there. So 
So that is going to get my matter receiver. And then I need to put like my oxygen distributor somewhere. Which where did I even put it on my person? I hope I didn't accidentally put it back in the grid. So oxygen loader. I had an oxygen distributor. I may have put it back in my grid. Or is it in the backpack? Yeah, it's right there. Okay. So oxygen distributor, I'm just going to go ahead and put right there which is going to need the oxygen loader beside it. And that's just going to have my inner tank sitting on top. In output mode, and that is going to be making oxygen for me. Is it just going to automatically output it? I don't know the answer to that. Right, so it looks like it is. So let me grab my moon sand and let me just fill this back in. Oxygen. Where's my Ad Astra book? Oxygen distributor is a powerful machine that distributes oxygen in a sealed room, allowing any life inside to survive. It works exactly like the oxygen loader, where you insert water into the tank. Okay, so it doesn't need... The oxygen loader. It just needs oxygen put... or water put directly into it. Okay, so it is filling up with oxygen. No oxygen is being generated. Ensure that oxygen and power are being supplied. It should have. Okay, after some trial and error, I got it fixed. So I didn't realize, I thought it needed to be in the wall. It just needs to be in the room. So it is now in the room and we should be oxygenating so I should be safe to take this off and I'm not dying which is perfect all right so then I need to just go ahead and place back down my network receiver and my crafting grid but I do need to go home to do that so I am gonna actually move this guy to the center of the room which means I am going to need to power it again uh, I'm just gonna do that super quick and then we're gonna take this and plop it back in the middle of the room uh, let me exchange and gadget some of this sand for stone We'll do it like that, which I do need to grab some more stone and just go outside super quick. So now that we've got that set up, we should be good to go. The next thing that I'm going to do out here is I brought myself a laser uh, drill because that is a good way out here to get dash ingots. And Desh is what we need to build better tier rockets and actually get uh, to other planets and eventually the end. 
So let me exchange this. I exchanged it all out for stone. I know that I used glass to begin with, but I thought that maybe the glass was the reason that it wasn't sealing, and it doesn't look that way. It looks like I just needed to put the um, stuff in the right place. So I might need... Well, I'm, I'm, I need to just keep it where it is, but I might eventually um, just kind of replace some of this and put windows and everything. Uh, so my matter receiver is there and powered, so I just need to go home. So we don't have to worry about rockets to get to the moon anymore. And eventually I want to build a space station, which needs some different materials. So I just need to figure out what materials all of that needs. I do have another rocket here that I can take out. Uh, what was I doing when I came here? I am putting my network card which is gonna be this one. So I need to take this back to the moon super quick. It's gonna be a lot of jumping back and forth. So moon, and then back home, back down here and put this guy in there and then back to the moon. I'm glad I have wireless charging. So now this should be good. Yes, okay. Cool, so now I have access to my grid. I can craft some stuff from down there. I can craft it up here. Uh, this is gonna be an ender chest that is just gonna be able to put stuff back into the crafting grid, which may or may not need anymore. Uh, but actually I was gonna take this with me, a little bit of block lag. Probably transporting dimensions too much. 